In this video, we're going to look at the Entech S-Play Show Controller module. The S-Play is a 32 University MX playback controller with the added ability to receive and send triggers to other AV equipment. The Control Suite module uses the S-Play's OSC API to play, pause, stop, and control intensity of all or individual playlists. To use this module, you'll need at least one entity licensed on your control engine. To create user interfaces that interact with the module, you'll need at least one player license. In this example, I'm running Control Engine and Control Designer on the same computer, and I've got an S-Play on my local network with IP address 10.0.0.30. We'll navigate to its settings page and check the port number in use for its OSC input. In Control Designer, we'll navigate to the workspace settings, then select the OSC patch. We'll create one for the S-Play, give it a name, reference its IP address, and the port number that the S-Play is using to receive OSC on. After this, we'll navigate to the new node option and create a module. We'll give it a name, description, and give it a color theme to make sure it's easy to recognize in the UI. Next, we'll define the module type. Here it's the Entech S-Play. Next, we'll select the OSC patch we've created, so we're referencing the correct device, and then press save. To explore what we can use the module for within Control Suite, I'll create a visual process. Inside this visual process, I'll drag in our S-Play module we just created. Under its options, we can select play, pause or stop for individual or all playlists on the S-Play. These commands can be triggered by sending data to the inlet of the node. We can use time-based workspaces to start triggers or use math-based logic to use any protocol, including KNX, MQTT, HTTP, MIDI and more to trigger them from any process. When the module is triggered and data is sent to the S-Play, the triggered outlet of the block sends a pulse. If there's an error, the error outlet is triggered. This allows you to create processes to retry triggering the command or an alert to be sent to the system admin. The set intensity options allow brightness control over individual timelines or the full output of the S-Play. Either enter fixed values or define variables for live control. Multiple variations of the same module can be used at the same time within a process or across multiple processes. Here, I'll use a process start block to trigger timeline one on the S-Play so it can be set to a known state when the control suite is powered up. We've then got a logic process that allows the S-Play to be triggered between the hours of nine and five from a remote KNX protocol input. This is just one example, but the possibilities for automation and protocol conversion to trigger the S-Play as part of a wider integrated system are virtually limitless. I'll sync this workspace to Control Engine, then simulate this being triggered. We can see the impact of this in the S-Play's web interface in real time. In addition to processes, this module can be used in action timelines to control the timelines on the S-Play, alongside other devices in your installation. For example, a single action could trigger an audio mixer to fade the music level to a certain point, play an audio track, and then fade in the S-Play queue a few seconds later. Finally, this module or multiple modules can be assigned to interface buttons or sliders to be hosted across your venue on Macs, PCs, or tablets to allow anyone to interact with your system. We hope you found this introduction useful. To request more modules for the system, get in touch with our team.